Hi everyone and welcome to Oil Camp for today. We are actually going to be covering two oils today. Um, we are going to be covering Melaleuca, also known as tea tree oil, and we are going to be talking about oregano oil. So let's kick it off with Melaleuca. So Melaleuca, also known as tea tree, um, as I mentioned, is a great oil for so many things. It can be used topically, aromatically, and internally. The primary ways that we use it are both internally and topically. So let's talk about those. So um, topically, Melaleuca is great for um, any skin imperfection. So whether that be acne or cuts and scrapes, uh, it's great to clean those out and make sure that you don't get any um, germs in there that you don't want. Um, it's great for um, nourishing the skin as well. So it, it's great in a way that it kills a lot of um, germs that we don't want, but it also nourishes the skin. So it's also very nourishing for our hair and for our scalp. So um, Melaleuca added to your shampoo is a great way to kind of soothe your scalp if you have any sort of um, dry skin issues or just to really nourish your scalp in general. Putting it in your shampoo is a great way to use it. It is also awesome in your shampoo if you have kids who are in school or exposed to a lice. So this is something we put in our shampoo every single time we get a new bottle, put a few drops in, shake it up, and it's a great way to help repel those lice. They do not like the smell of Melaleuca. Um, we also make a spray that we spray on backpacks, we spray on sport bags. Um, it's also great for reducing any odor. So in athletic shoes or tennis shoes that get a little bit smelly, um, Melaleuca in there is a great way to smell and get rid of those odors. Um, Melaleuca used topically, as I mentioned, is great for any um, reducing any bacteria or fungal issues you might ha be having. So um, let's say um, athlete's foot, or if you have any issues around your nail beds, applying Melaleuca is a great way to take care of those. Um, and then also um, surface wise, it's great for cleaning with. It's in one of my favorite all-purpose cleaners that I use all the time. Along with lemon and peppermint oil, Melaleuca is great for cleansing any surfaces as well as cleansing the air. Um, it can also be used, um, as I mentioned, um, aromatically. It's not something we tend to use it aromatically a lot, or I personally don't, um, but it's a great way to purify the air as well. Taking it internally, it's in our immune boosting blend. So um, whenever you feel like you're coming down with something and or fighting something off, Melaleuca paired with On Guard along with some oregano oil and our frankincense are great for um, really boosting your immune system if you've been exposed to any sort of um, germs or just not feeling well. Um, it's a great way to kick the crud and it does it really well. So what we do is we put a couple drops of each of those oils I'll post the recipe below in a veggie cap and take it internally. Um, and it's a great way to really boost your immune system. Um, so that leads me to oregano oil. Um, again, oregano is a great immune booster, but it's really a um, great oil to kick the crud, as we say. So when you feel like you're coming down with something, if you've been exposed to sick people, Taking oregano oil internally, a couple of drops in the veggie cap, like I just mentioned, is a great way to take it. Now, oregano is known as a hot oil, which means it's not an oil that you want to put on your skin without carrier oil. And it's really not an oil that we use topically very much anyway. Um, it's best used internally, it has a very strong smell, as you all know. Um, but it's a great one to put in a veggie cap and take internally. If you are ever going to use it um, topically for some reason, make sure that you're using your fractionated coconut oil or another carrier oil um, of choice and just use a little bit. Um, now, oregano is something we actually cook with. I use it quite a bit in my cooking in um, different salads and sauces. So if you are going to cook with the oregano, which I suggest you try doing, just make sure that you're using the, like a skewer um, and you dip the skewer into the oregano oil and then swirl that into the sauce that you're making. Too many times I have tried to drop one little drop of oregano into my um, garden sauce that I make and accidentally got way more than I wanted and um, ended up ruining the sauce. So don't, don't learn, well learn from my mistakes and don't do what I did. So oregano in cooking, just use a little skewer Swirl it into the sauce that you're making, and that is a great way to use it. 
Um, if you are taking oregano oil internally, here's just a word of caution. You don't want to be taking it more than two weeks at a time. Um, it's such a powerful oil to eradicate anything that's happening um, GI disturbance wise. Um, two weeks is really plenty of time to be taking that without, and then you want to take a little bit of a break from it. So oregano is not an oil that you will use every single day. However, it is super, super potent and powerful and an oil that you want to have on hand for those times that you are exposed to um, germs and you're feeling under the weather. So today we talked about melaleuca and oregano oil, two oils that are awesome for uh, boosting your immune system fighting off any of the germs that we're exposed to every single day, and um, really a powerful combo for our overall health and wellness. Have a great day. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow.